Hey guys, 9 92 here with another Survival Games video on MCSG. This time we are playing solo on Remnant. Um, you probably notice there's a different FOV. Um, I've been practicing with Mr. Frazzle T quite a lot, and he's been giving me some good tips. Um, general kind of PvP tips I've been noting in the videos, like someone said I need to strafe more, so I'm trying to do that. And, um, Frazzle made me change my FOV to 100, and now it's like way easier to uh, PvP, and I've become like way better. Um, before I was in a bit of a slump, and um, hadn't really got wins for a long time, but obviously with his help I rose myself up, got above 100, and now uh, I actually win every few games, which is way better than I was doing before, so that's great. Um, so big thanks to Mr. Frazzle T. Um, you may have noticed the new intro, and you will notice the new outro. Um, I, I need to stop saying um, I realised that last video. No more ums in this video. The new intro, so I decided I did want a new intro, I didn't really like my old one, uh, but I wanted to keep it quick and simple. Uh, I had, oh, I need to stop saying ah, uh, and um. The problem I had with one of my old intros was people were complaining, although they liked the song and stuff, it was too long, they just wanted to watch the video and not like this really long intro. And I was going to get a uh, cool animated one, but I wanted to just keep it really short, sweet. The main important thing is the video itself, so less intro, more video. The outro is literally like a longer version of the intro, so it gives you a chance to... Um, Set up again. <laughs> Gives you a chance to go um, through, kind of like gives us the Twitters and uh, Twitter accounts and stuff, so you can like actually read the links and stuff rather than in the beginning. It's very quick and yeah. So um, this video, I just wanted to talk about some like stories and stuff that's happened to me. Um, Need to stop saying um. <laughs> Someone do an um counter and count how many times they say um. I want to see that in the comments. So, um. Oh, stop saying um. I'm quite like an awkward person, but not in the sense of. You get awkward people who are like socially awkward, but I'm more. I get myself into these really awkward situations and I think about things in a very awkward way. Not kind of like, I find socially, um, if I met someone randomly, I wouldn't like not be able to talk. Like, I'm fine with that. It's like, I just find myself in these really awkward situations. Kind of like the things you see in comedy films, um, quite a lot. And it's just like, how is this happening? This is my actual life. How do all these awkward things keep happening? So, um, I said I'm again. <laughs> I'm counter. One of the things that happened to me, like, there are so many to tell, but I'll only tell, like, one or two. Um, well, I didn't say, um, I was in London with a few friends, and, uh, we were deciding what to have for lunch, and we usually would have got, like, some fast food thing, like McDonald's, but we decided we were going to be fancy, and we saw, um, we saw... <laughs> There was an offer on fish and chips, so we are like, oh great, it was like really cheap. Uh, and we're like, oh yeah, go for it. So we go in, and this is like central London, kind of near the business district, but I just didn't really think about it at the time. And there was like a partition thing, so you couldn't actually see in like the food place, you could just see where they kind of... Um, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure you paid up front, and then they brought it to you, and they said... Um, you had to eat in, they did not do takeaways, but it's really cheap and like we're having a really good time so we're like oh yeah sure we'll eat in. So then they take us to a table around the back and we go around the partition and we didn't realise but it was actually like a really fancy restaurant and everyone's in like business suits and fancy clothes and then we're there like four kids in like hoodies and like we were so out of place and they stuck us like in a corner because they obviously 
they probably didn't want us to be there, but we were still customers. And it was just such an awkward situation where, like, it's a mega fancy London restaurant we didn't know, like, realize. And we're in hoodies, and everyone kept staring at us, kind of like, oh, they don't belong here, kind of thing. So that was super orcs. Um, another thing that happened was, so I was with some friends and stuff, and we're going takeaway, and we got like a special deal, and there were these chicken wings, and I didn't particularly want chicken wings, but there were uh, like someone was vegetarian, there were a few people who didn't want it, so they handed it to me, like you can have the chicken wings, you deal with it. I was like, well, I don't really want to, and one of my other friends came over and was like, oh, I want a chicken wing, so I was like, okay, I'll give you all the chicken wings, and it's your responsibility, because I don't want chicken wings, and then she's like, no, I just want one. I was like, well, I don't want to have to deal with them and hand them out. Like, just take the whole box. Then you can leave it somewhere, deal with it. So she took it and kind of like grumbled a bit. And then I was standing like right next to her and one of my other friends. And I wasn't like talking to them, I was talking to someone else. And I heard her like, um, pretty much bitching about me, saying like, oh, he said like that I have to look after it and I don't want to. Like, blah, blah, blah. I just turned to her, I was like, I'm literally standing right next to you, obviously, like, don't talk about me when I'm standing right next to you, like, I thought that's a social thing, you don't, okay, like, you shouldn't really bitch about people anyway, but if you're going to, don't, like, either do it to their face, or do it when they're not around, don't do it when they're standing next to you, because, like, I could clearly hear her talking, I was like, I can hear you talking, what are you doing? And she kind of, like, grumbled a bit more to me, and walked up, <laughs> Bit of an awkward situation. Um, so yeah, so that gives you kind of like a general vague idea of awkward situations that happen to me. There are so many, but loads of them um, are completely my fault, so I don't really want to go into that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about this video was the end of the world. I can't remember where I saw this. I saw this in a video or something where they were talking about it. Um, and I just wanted to kind of like talk about how like I think the world is going to end and like see what you guys think in the comments. Uh, so I don't think kind of like if you've seen the film 2012 where there's kind of like big disasters and the world ends really quickly. I don't think it's going to be like that or like a quick disease thing. I think the end of the world is going to be very slow and painful. Yay, optimism. Uh, I think that we are like kind of hitting the peak of how much things can like improve, and it's gonna get to a point where can like we're running out of resources and uh, probably like disease and stuff's gonna cut down population and probably like disasters and stuff as well. But I feel like it's not gonna be. Um, a quick deal is going to be kind of like multiple things are going to wear us down and that's going to be very slow like decline of people not having enough food money and it's very cheerful <laughs> thoughts i i definitely don't think there'll be things like you know like the zombie apocalypse i'll see i don't think that that's possible uh if anything uh if you've seen i am legend we could have that kind of um zombie where in i'm legend they're not like walking dead zombies they are people who from an infection become pretty much like rabid uh so like if rabies uh could be infected on humans that kind of thing they're very vicious and attack each other so i could see that kind of situation happening um but dead coming back to life yeah but i don't think that's gonna happen and on um kind of 2012 disasters where the world just like breaks into pieces pretty much yeah that's never gonna happen uh i guess we could have like an asteroid impact or something but i still think everyone wouldn't die and it would be a very slow decline um so yeah so that's my thoughts on that uh just leave me a comment on how you think the world's gonna end also leave me a comment on or send me a tweet as well if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm largely on the Red Forest build. Um, it's, I think it's Red Forest Team account. Uh, red underscore forest underscore team. Uh, just leave me a comment on how you think the world's going to end. 
uh, firstly. Secondly, what you think of the new intro and outro. And I do want to hear what you guys want from Red Forest in the future. Um, and I want to see the um counter, obviously. <laughs> So we've run out of time, <laughs> end of the video, please comment, rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.